evening or early evening, afternoon. Currently it is afternoon, uh, reporting from the back seat of Nasha. This is our uh, podcast feed. Uh, promo drop, I guess. Pure luxury in the uh, <laughs> 48 Nash. Yeah, that's it. Um, as has maybe been picked up elsewhere, we've had a bit of a jumble around in the calendar and we were sort of running a bit too hard to uh, release the next one. So we've put together a compilation of uh, Roaming Moses excerpts from uh, dear friend Trevor Oldmate. Um, sat down, had a chat with Hodgie and also tacked on the end Johnny Irving uh, A1 Automotive in Ballarat so um, a few interesting interesting revelations in their car past Hodgie's known this bloke since he stood on the bloody footpath in Drummond Street and tried to buy me 57 Chev off me so that was a really good one to sit down and go through um, yeah record breaker in length 33 minutes you'll probably hear that it's okay yeah, no, that's all right. No, it was good. And we still, you know, I think we could still get a whole lot more out of Hodgie if we took him into the studio one day and we sat down and had more of a chat because, you know, like it's been busy for so long, like, you know, he starts rattling through numbers of hot rods he's had, how many cars he has now. He's just starting to kind of think towards 60 and slowing down a bit. You know, he's enjoying the whole social element again. Yeah, we'll you know. get him get him back in. He was sort of scheduled a while ago, but yeah, things happen. But anyway, yeah. hopefully... Um, we're on the start of a bit of normal, so he's back in the Scotty. Well, fingers crossed, yeah. back in the Scotty uh, for next month's recording. Yeah, that's it. Otherwise, I might um, have to put a phone holder in this uh, in the back seat of this Nash. Mate. Yeah, sounds the studio's all right. All right. Mm. Yeah, our sound quality's all right. A o a o a o a o. Yeah, that's all right. We can do it. <laughs> Um, yeah. But yeah, not much else to report. Just a bonus episode. Yep. The calendar didn't really align up. We didn't want to put in, um, you know, November review at the end of o- October. No, that's it. Um, so, so uh, yep. Running well ahead of schedule. So you know, no, yeah. it's nice too because you know, sit down, interview a few people, and I suppose they're waiting for their eight questions to drop at some point. So. We've nice had to clear while, the folder so a little. Yeah, no, Johnny's I've been sitting on for a little while, so and Trev's as well, so and Hodges is a bit off the fly and probably you know, fairly recent activities. You'll probably get a few of these over time, and as we get a few banked up, we'll just stick them together and away yeah. we go. And I know you guys love 57s. You wait till you hear what Hodgie's going to do with this 57 that he's just got his hands on. Yeah, yeah, looking forward to that. Should be good. It's already upsetting people who own 57s. <laughs> and he hasn't started. So, yeah. Sounds like he's upsetting purists a bit. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. yeah, but again, even the non-purist 57 owners can't see themselves doing what he's going to do to this car. So, well, yeah. I haven't heard this. So, no, that's um, it. No, it's all off the fly for you. I said, I said you're going to enjoy this one too, AO. Eh? So, I'll be uh, looking forward to hearing this one. Yeah, no, nah, too easy. Okay, all guys. Right. See you in a couple of weeks. Tune in in the morning.